Hi, I'm Joe the other guy here to show you how to replace your window regulator on a 99 to 2007 Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra. So the problem I have right now is my window is held up with vice grips, my regulator snapped. Um, so we gotta remove the door panel, remove any duct tape holding this thing up. Which is gonna be great to clean, but you gotta remove it. Remove the window switch assembly. Pull this over. It is quite easy to just uh, unplug these. This one's a little trickier, but get a little screwdriver, get in that clip. Wiggle it, you'll get it. Window switches apart. Undo this screw right here. There's also one under the handle right here, which is actually not in there. I don't know where that went to. Pull the door handle back. And remove just the door handle trim. Pop this trim piece off of the corner. Door panel on. I do have a tweeter. It's plugged in here. And the door panel's in. So, to get to the 10 mil bolt here, and one right back here. Now once you undo these, your window is free floating. All right, I've taken on my door glass because it's all stiff from all the duct tape residue on it. Like I said, my regulator is actually broken, so I'm just gonna remove the screws right now. There's four total for each rail. Bring it out. No, three on this side. There's the regulator actually out. Nothing in the door. Okay, so here is the new window regulator. You're just gonna kinda twist it in there. Do one side first. The other side. Get the side up. Push the right stick out here. Just kinda unfold it, and there's little notches. If you see here, there's little notches that the regulator actually grabs into and holds. Same with this side. Right here, you just kind of find it.
Okay. Like I said, that is the actual regulator installed. And what we're going to do is plug in the, the motor. And just plug in the window parts of your your switch. Put your key on. Want to get the window in? Slide it from the outside. Start with the front corner. Slide through. it back. Get it just to stick into the window seal there. Start kind of pushing it back so it sits upright in the right direction. into the regulator straps. Now, this is one thing, when you're putting the window Locks back on, never use a power tool. In my experience, too much pressure can actually shatter the window. So we're just gonna, no vibration, just tighten it down. That was the right one. We're just gonna turn the key on. Okay, so we're just gonna move it down. this one up and test your window up and down a lot of times I like to do with these is uh, sometimes the regulators don't come with a lot of lube on them so I'll put a little dielectric grease and just kind of get them on there. Now we're going to take the door panel remember to make our tweeter and these have to stick through otherwise you're going to have a pain getting them up through 
slide it up, hang it on the top edge. Hang it on the top edge, come down a little bit, get your lower pieces in. Make sure the whole thing is in place. Bounce the clips back in. We start with putting the big screw back in. switches back up. The back piece in first. We're going to put our door trim piece back on. Kind of start with the front first. Get that locked in. And it just kind of should. Let's just fall right back into place. And you see I'm missing my lock indicators. A lot of times these actually get bent when you take them off. So you got to make sure that they are free flowing before you shut your door because you might not be able to unlock it. Well, that is your door. That is the win window regulator replaced. Yeah, I'm Joe the Other Guy. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you. Please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, and my emails down below.